Hi, welcome to this tutorial about the syntax options when using process for SPSS. Hayes process macro is one of the standard ways to test the moderation, mediation or moderated mediation with SPSS. And if you use the process syntax, there are a lot of additional options you can use for your analyses. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the main options you can use. So first the core syntax, then we'll be looking at general options for moderation and mediation. Then we'll be looking at options specifically for mediation models. And finally, at options for moderation and moderated mediation models. The core syntax, the process name, the variables, depending on your model number, which variables you have to use, and the model number. With this, you can run process. But there are a lot of additional options. You can include covariates with this command, then process calculates all regression models controlling for those covariates. You could change the confidence level for the confidence intervals, for instance if you use a Bonferroni correction. Then there are a number of options for bootstrapping. You can change the number of bootstrap samples with the boot command. You can set a seed value for the random numbers generator. Bootstrapping of course is a random process, so each time you run bootstrapping you get slightly different confidence intervals. But for writing down your results, it's preferable that you get the same results each time you run the analysis with your same data. For that, you put in just any integer number here. It doesn't have to be this number. Some monitor parameters are always bootstrapped. For instance, the indirect effect. If you want bootstrapping for all regression models, in order not to have to care about possible non-normality, you could request that with the model BT parameter. The default method for bootstrapping in process is currently percentile bootstrap. You could change that to bias corrected bootstrap by setting the BC parameter. If you don't want to have to worry about possible heteroskedasticity, you can request a robust standard error, for instance HC3 or HC4. Then your results are valid even if you have heteroskedasticity. If you want to change the decimals, the default value would be four decimal places. You could use this parameter. The important part is here at the end, 0.3, three decimal places. Process for SPSS only works with the first eight characters of a variable name. If you have variables that are longer than eight characters, you get an error message. You can override this with this long name parameter. However, that can be dangerous because you have to make sure then that all your variable names you're using for process are unique in their first eight characters. Otherwise, there's no telling which variable process will use from your dataset. For the independent variable and for the moderators, you can include categorical variables. For binary variables, you don't have to change anything. You can put them in in your normal syntax. But if you have three or more levels for the categorical variable, then you need the MCX for the independent variable or MCW or MCZ for the moderator variables. There are different possible values for this parameter. If you want to have dummy coding, you use a 1. Let's say you have a categorical independent variable with four levels, 0, 1, 2, 3. With dummy coding, you would get three dummy variables. The first compares level 1 to level 0, the second level 2 to level 0, and the third level 3 to level 0. Sequential coding, I use that if I have an ordinal predictor, where the two neighboring categories are compared. So in our example, 1 to 0, 2 to 1, 3 to 2. Helmet coding is similar to a helmet contrast in ANOVA. In our example, the levels 1 to 3 together would be compared to level 0, then levels 2 and 3 together compared to level 1, and then level 3 compared to level 2. And in effect coding, the groups 1 to 3 would be compared to the grand mean as long as all four groups are of equal size. Those were the general options. Now to the options specific for mediation analysis. That is primarily for model numbers 4 and 6. The normal results you get for the parameter estimates are unstandardized regression weights, that is Bs. If you want to have standardized regression weights, that is Betas. For the indirect effect and for the direct effect, you can request them with the effect size parameter. For the A and for the B path, you can request Betas with a stand parameter. So in most cases, if I use one of those parameters, I use the other as well. If you want to have a total effects model, that is an estimate for the C path, the effect from the independent variable to the dependent variable, 
without looking at a mediator. You can get this in addition to the other results with the total parameter. Process tests indirect effects by bootstrapping those indirect effects. If you want in addition the Sobel test, that is a test that assumes that the indirect effect is normally distributed, which is a quite problematic assumption, you can request the Sobel test by using the normal parameter. In a parallel mediation, where you have two or more indirect effects parallel to each other, you might want to compare them, whether they are significantly different from each other. Here you have the choice. You can set this parameter contrast to 1, then the difference between those effects is tested. For instance, if you have one eff indirect effect with a regression weight of 1.1 and the other with a regression weight of minus 0.5, then this contrast would be 1.6, because that's the difference between 1.1 and minus 0.5. If in this case you wanted to compare the absolute values, then you would use contrast equals 2, because then you would compare 1.1 to 0.5, that is, the difference of 0.6. So contrast equals 2 only makes sense if you expect contrasts with different signs. And finally, to the moderation models and the moderated mediation models, because moderated mediations contain a moderation as well. Often we want to mean center independent variable and moderator when we run a moderation analysis. By setting mean center to 1, we force to mean center all variables that are part of product terms. However, in most cases it's not such a good idea to mean center a binary variable because it makes the interpretation harder and not easier. For that I only use the mean center equals 2 option, because then only continuous variables that are part of products are mean centered. Next, you could change when process probes interactions. The default value is 0.1, so with a p-value for an interaction smaller than 0.1, you will get simple slopes. And with the in-probe parameter you could change that. If you want simple slopes, Regardless of the result of the significance test for the interaction, you could set this parameter to 1. Then you always get simple slopes. For those simple slopes, with a continuous moderator, you get three simple slopes. The default is the 16th percentile, the 50th percentile, and the 84th percentile. You could change that to minus 1 standard deviation, mean, and plus 1 standard deviation by setting the moments parameter to 1. You could request a Johnson name and output by setting JN to 1, and you could request a plot for the interaction. Then, as part of the output, you get a short SPSS syntax, and if you run the syntax, you get a graph for the simple slopes. What process doesn't provide is an option for testing all the regression assumptions. If you want to know more about this topic, I've made another tutorial about that. So that's it for the process syntax options with SPSS. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video.